I came to DePaul as a um, broadcast major and I was uh, school relevant to that. Um, but my greatest experiences and memories uh, kind of evolve around uh, Coach Ray Meyer. Uh, and not so much basketball, but the, the ability he had to sit down and, and mesmerize you by, you know, filling in blanks. You know, because I was young, of course, young black kid coming from the inner city streets of Chicago. There's a lot of things I didn't know. I didn't know how they worked. I didn't know how they formed. I didn't know how um, people congregated to make it happen. And a lot of those things were cleared up by Ray. Me and him would spend countless numbers of hours not on the, just on the floor, but in his office. I would go up before practice, I would go up after practice and sit in his office. And literally, it, it was like sitting at his feet and just, you know, him pouring a lot of knowledge and information uh, that I needed to be a better me. One of my greatest thoughts uh, and treasures is that he allowed me to be a man. He didn't treat me like a child and I didn't want to be treated like one. He gave me the opportunity to grow up uh, in the system of the of the DePaul Blue Demons, uh, but also, I mean, not just in basketball, but, but with all the, you know, interior the, and exterior people uh, from all the other sports, from the athletic department to the educational academic departments. We were allowed a lot of a lot of opportunities being in alumni hall, a smaller venue. Uh, and the school just really coming literally out of obscurity in many people's minds. But Ray Meyer was the reason. He was the icon that drew people. And then the team came later.